Hey there guys, this is Hip TV News, where we keep you updated on the latest happenings in the world of music, movies, fashion, comedy, lifestyle and more. Keep it locked. On the news today, Emeka Ike comes for those not supporting his AGN leadership. Yes, Magazine Clocks 5. And now, the news in detail. I know. I know I might not be as rich as the man who stole your heart. It's no longer news that veteran Nollywood actor Emeka Ike is the new president of the Actors Guild of Nigeria after a federal high court sitting in Lagos stripped actress Ibinabo Febrisima of her position as the guild's president on March 23, 2016, then appointed Emeka Ike as the new president. Though this came after Ibinabo was handed a five-year jail term for manslaughter. Hip TV spoke with Emeka recently, where he told us that despite the court ruling over the leadership of the guild, there are still some individuals ready to disobey court injunction. Yeah, justice has been done, but some people are saying they are, they are bigger than justice, you know. So they are pulling all the strings they can to make sure justice is frustrated. And we are working to make sure that we tell them that, we explain to them that justice is justice. They have to obey justice or they let go. So that's where we had. Emeka Ike also told Hip TV that he has no personal grudge against Ibinabo or one-time president of the AGN, Shegu Arinze. Honestly, I'm cool. I'm so cool with Ibinabo. But you're not getting the gist because the press like changing the message. The gist is that this whole thing is not about Ibinabo or Shegu Arinze. These are all paid stooges. They are paid to have press conference. And I know who I'm fighting. They are bigger conglomerates. They are multinationals. Not Shegwan is my brother. Not Ibinabo. These are my friends. But well, maybe they choose to be psychophantic, but then they're still my friends. On what the current state of the guild is, he said. Agent is moving forward, okay? What we did was what we called legal reform. Legal reform, because before now, there was no any legal balance in AGN. What we kept hearing was that AGN is a no man's property. It belongs to some five people, board of trustees and all that. Today, that's not the same story. This is a different story right now. The five men have been properly dissolved. The illegal president has been sacked. Everything has been returned to, you know, proper resolution. So we need to just have people working with the right minds and we get there. 